Okay, so we have eight minutes for discussion. You may start. Uh, the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare revolves around the complicated protagonist uh, named Hamlet, who uh, undergoes a series of misfortunes which lead him to uh, to further pursue killing his uh, uncle, Claud uh, King Claudius, the current king of Denmark. Uh, in the play, Claudius, Prince Hamlet's uncle, killed his brother, King Hamlet, to become king and marry the queen, Queen Gertrude, who is also Hamlet's mother. So, uh, uh, more specific, uh, in Act 1, Scene 2, the scene, uh, act and scene I'm focusing on t uh, today, uh, of the play, uh, introduces a struggle between Hamlet uh, the, uh, and, uh, excuse me, and Gertrude, which is Hamlet's mother. So, I'll be focusing on Shakespeare's use of language and symbols in Act 1, Scene 2, uh, in the play, to portray Gertrude's insensitive character. So, uh, first of all, I'll be focusing on language and more uh, specifically diction. So, diction in Act 1, Scene 2 impressively contributes to portraying Gertrude's insensitive character. The newly crowned King Claudius and Queen Gertrude are getting married, and Hamlet was invited to their wedding. So, the only, only person uh, in the wedding that was sitting in a corner depressed and mourning for uh, the king's death was Hamlet. So uh, how did he mourn? He uh, did not celebrate and he wore uh, all black. Uh, and in the play they described his uh, uh, cloak as in, uh, a dark inky cloak. So Gertrude tells Hamlet, It be why seems it so particular with thee. Hamlet responds, Seems, madam, nay it is. I know not, se I know not seems. And this is again from Act 1, Scene 2, lines 74 to 76. So Shakespeare's for uh, formal word choice, which is formal diction. Uh, his formal word choice uh, for the conversation between Hamlet and Gertrude during the wedding uh, has a remarkable effect on Gertrude's characterization as it, uh, as it portrays her uh, uh, as it portrays her as in uh, uh, a selfish and insensitive woman. Excuse me. The difference between seems, which refers to appearance, and is, which refers to reality, is crucial in showing how inconsiderate Gertrude is to Hamlet's uh, true and interior uh, reality. And again, his interior reality is probably uh, destroyed because of his father's death. Uh, therefore, asking Hamlet why he seems so sad disregards uh, Gertrude's care towards what Hamlet is really feeling, making Gertrude seem inconsiderate and selfish in this scene. William Shakespeare has Gertrude say, why seems it so particular with thee? Which is further vital in re representing her, uh, her uh, insensitive character. Uh, same point. So instead of feeling Hamlet's pain and depression, Gertrude simply discards it, just so uh, she would not ruin her time at the wedding, and just so she can have fun at her wedding. This emphasizes, again, on her uh, careless and insensitive character. Therefore, William Shakespeare chose for Gertrude to say seem instead of uh, is or are to feed the portrayal of her insensitive character. For Shakespeare's word choice, which is diction, further shows how unmother like Gertrude is towards Hamlet, her son. So without uh, Shakespeare's uh, choice of words in uh, Act 1, Scene 2 of the play, the insensitive side of uh, Gertrude would have not been uh, been portrayed. Uh, for example, if Gertrude would have said words such as are or is, then Gertrude would have seemed more loving and mother-like to Hamlet, therefore uh, uh, strengthening the relationship between uh, mother and son. Furthermore, without Gertrude saying seems, the relationship again between Hamlet and Queen Gertrude would have been interpreted by the audience as a strong and more loving relationship. Uh, they would have been uh, portrayed as true family members and not as Hamlet views them uh, uh, throughout the play as, uh, as uh, uh, enemies. So instead of uh, uh, instead Gertrude's use of seems is interpreted as lethal to the uh, mother uh, son relationship and bet uh, between Hamlet and Gertrude. Uh, the next point I'll be focusing on is uh, symbols and how symbols in Act One, Scene Two uh, impact Gertrude's characterization throughout Act One. It's uh, a significant. Uh, it, symbols have a significant impact on Gertrude's characterization through this scene and act. So moving on, uh, symbols in Act 1, Scene 2 immensely contribute to uh, portraying Gertrude's insensitive character again in uh, Act 1, Scene 2. So Hamlet is a uh, same scenario. Hamlet's still mourning his father's death at his mother's wedding. 
So during the conversation between Hamlet and Gertrude, the same conversation I mentioned before, uh, Hamlet says, nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of forced breath. No, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the de dejected behavior of the visage, together with all forms, moods, shapes of gr uh, grief that can denote me truly. These indeed seem, for they are actions that a man might play, but I have that within which passeth shows these, but the trappings and the suits of woe. The symbol of, uh, focusing on the symbol of uh, Hamlet's dark clothes, uh, the symbol of Hamlet's dark clothes outline Gertrude as, again, an insensitive character, as Gertrude's urging Hamlet to change his uh, dark clothes uh, into more festive clothes. Again, festive depending on the culture, like uh, more uh, white clothes or uh, jewelry, for example. Hence, Gertrude is indirectly urging Hamlet to simply... Uh, forget about uh, his uh, newly murdered father, which is King Hamlet, and again he was murdered. Uh, asking a son to, therefore, asking a son to simply forget about his murdered father is simply inhumane, or can be viewed as inhumane. So Shakespeare's uses uh, uses the symbol of Hamlet's stark clothes to further establish a theme of appearance versus reality. So Gertrude labels Hamlet as depressed and troubled during her wedding just by his black clothes, not by his inner feelings and, and not by his his uh, physical, uh, not clues, but his uh, physical uh, appearance. So Gertrude, uh, therefore Hamlet replied, nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of, uh, of forced breath, uh, no, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the de dejective behavior of the visage. And, and the example I mentioned uh, before, uh, this all mean, uh, means that his clothes do not portray his sorrow for his uh, father's death, but it is his internal feeling that, that portrays his sorrow, not his physical and external appearance, or physical appearance, excuse me. Furthermore, stressing upon how uh, Gertrude is only capable of interpreting Hamlet's inner feelings, uh, by his uh, physical appearance and again not even his body his his clothes like his dark clothes like anybody in the street i wearing black i expect that he experienced some loss recently so in life a mother can interpret her son's inner emotions without any physical th uh, signs for example hamlet's uh, dark clothes so therefore uh, if gertrude was actually a sensitive woman and she was actually sensitive to Hamlet's inner uh, uh, feelings. She would have interpreted uh, deeper emotions that Hamlet felt beyond his dark clothes and his physical appearance. So Shakespeare's use of Hamlet's dark clothes uh, to, um, to establish Gertrude's impervious and sensitive character develops uh, a man versus man conflict. So we see the effect of the symbols Hamlet, uh, the symbols Shakespeare used on uh, the conflict that was introduced between Gertrude and Hamlet throughout this act and scene. So as Hamlet attempting to spot his father's murderer, he has the chance to observe and examine the loyalty and uh, uh, his relationships with other characters, uh, not only in his family, but in his life that were supposedly close to him. So uh, uh, he further examines his uh, mother's loyalty towards himself and potentially towards King Hamlet, who was recently murdered. So henceforth, after the conversation during the wedding, Hamlet's increasingly doubting. There are a lot of uh, clues where he's increasingly doubting the innocence of his mother uh, because he believes she was an accomplice in the murder of, uh, uh, of uh, King Hamlet. So this cast Hamlet on a psychological struggle uh, in which he examined the loyalty of each of his closest uh, people in his uh, life, including his mother. Uh, this further forced Hamlet into adopting the idea of trusting nobody but himself, which uh, imp uh, indeed uh, reflects negatively on his character because he is viewed by other characters as mad and uh, psychologically uh, unstable. So. Uh, uh, Hamlet has the chance to redefine his relationship with uh, uh, the people around him and to redefine the, uh, the definition of family and friends which he, uh, which he used to have. Thank you.
Thank you, uh, Mufud. And I have one uh, question for you. How did uh, Hamnet ensure that Claudius was actually his father, uh, his, uh, the murderer? Uh, in Act 5, I think, probably mm-hmm. in Act 5, uh, Hamnet had this uh, planned out this play, and which reenacted his uh, father's uh, death. So uh, as Claudius uh, watched this play, he observed that uh, uh, Hamlet, excuse me, observed that Claudius's facial expressions and physical appearance changed, and and that Claudius was fo- uh, was wasn't forced, but he chose to leave the entire uh, area. So there, Hamlet, uh, uh, there Hamlet ensured that his father was killed by Claudius. Thank you. That concludes our IEC for Mahmoud um, Fouad. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.